any freaking character at it, and this thing fucking gives up the bit. She's like, yo, okay, I'm a wasp. <laughs> really fucking difficult to figure out if you're attacking a host that's behind a wasp. So you send it any special character, and then the thing fucking like gives you all kinds of weird things. So um, if you request cmd.exe, and you get a method 501 instead of a 404 file not found, you're probably up against Apache mod security. Now newer versions of this have, newer versions of mod have changed this. But who the fuck really upgrades their WAF, really? So I run into this a lot still. Um, also another one that I run into, uh, Actronix Web Night. Uh, you see that in the HTTP response header, it gives a, a uh, response code of 9999 and no hacking. <laughs> So I run into this. Uh, if you're seeing that you're not up against one, you know, just start adding things to it to see what it does and see if it gives you a 404 for a file that it should not have. You know, I request joe.exe and then I request netcat.exe, nc.exe, and I just look at the differences between them. I mean, that's it. If you send a good request, it gives you a 200 OK. You send a bad request for a file that doesn't exist and then it gives you a 404 and then all of a sudden you insert something for cross-site scripting and it gives you a completely different error you're up against some sort of defensive mechanism. Make sense? All right, so based on that, start playing the encoding game. So if you figure that you're up against a WAF, see if this thing handles um, hex. See if it handles UTF-7, UTF-8, UTF-16, Base-64, or mixing of them. See how it handles the multiple encodings. Most WAFs cannot handle encoding very well. Okay? Especially if you start mixing the encodings together. Okay? So it's a good way to try and see if you can get by the WAF. Okay. Um, good buddy of mine, Sanjo Gachi and Wendell, um, they wrote a tool called WAF Woof and I started contributing to it last year. Uh, I think it's the shit and it's in Python. So the cool thing that we're doing here is we're fingerprinting the HTTP response headers and we're identifying web application firewalls and I fucking love it. So right now we've got a pretty good list about 10 or 12 WAFs, and the list is getting bigger and bigger. The next thing that we're working on is called WAF Fun, where we're gonna work on a tool that actually brute forces web application firewall rule sets, and it's in Python. <laughs> so I'm real excited about that, guys. I really wish that we had made more progress with it, but you know, working, drinking, working and drinking. It was kind of hard to get the tool done so that I could have a working demo. But uh, hopefully, you know, the next couple of conferences and next year we'll have a working demo of WAF fun uh, so you can see the brute forcing WAF rule sets. I think that's going to be the shit. Okay. All right. So quick thing that I use, Gary O'Leary Steele, he wrote a tool called Unicode Fun and it's great for, um, it's Ruby, I know, but yeah. fuck Ruby. <laughs> so we're going to get that shit moved over to Python and in my tool it's going to be in Python. So. Um, we're putting that in Python and we'll do the different encoding. We want to make a tool specifically for web application attacks that's going to be part of the WAFIT framework. WAFIT framework will include WAF Fun and uh, WAF Woof. And we'll specifically be working on multiple encodings and 